IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to this episode of Braves Beat. I'm Marina Anderson. And I'm Hayden Wentz. So what are you going to do on your Monday off, Marina? Uh, you know, probably cry about the new lunch schedule. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of news to cover, mm -hmm. so let's get on with it. Our Indian Hill High School mock trial team won the 2022 Buckeye Bash Championship. The tournament was hosted by The Ohio State University the weekend of January 8th to the 9th. Tacey Hutton won two more Outstanding Attorney Awards. Paige Falter and Nina Overton each won an Outstanding Witness Award, and Harrison Patty and Elsa Zhao step in to fill the shoes of the missing witness. Congratulations, mock trial team. IH academic team versus the faculty took place this Wednesday. Our team tried hard, but the teachers ended up winning 94 to 75. Everyone had a lot of fun, and let's hope that we pull through next time and get the win. Premier's favorite Gino Carducci and Braves beat favorite Shay Cowles have a spectacular sports report this week. Let's check it out. Thanks, Hayden Marina. Well, hello again, Reese. What? I, n nothing. I, I just assumed you would be Reese, like I was always been. Well, we've got an exciting week of news to cover, so let's get on to it. In basketball, boys put up a good fight, but unfortunately they did lose to Xavier 42-61. But they did beat Deer Park 63-44. Boys play again tonight against Reading. Be sure to be there. Junior varsity didn't fail much against Xanax, also losing 34-53. But they also beat Deer Park 55-32. Wrestling went to an invitational event, but sadly they did not get enough wins to come out on top. Congratulations to junior Emily Ecker who recently committed to an athletic and academic career at Butler University. Well, that's all the sports we've got for this week, but be sure to tune in next week. Back to you at the desk. Great job, Shay. And Gino, you did pretty almost half decent. Important announcement, no school on Monday because it is MLK Junior Day. The day is celebrated annually on the third Monday of January. MLK Junior Day honors the life and accomplishments of Dr. King, an influential civil rights leader recognized for advancing the rights of minorities through a campaign of civil disobedience. Luke was able to grab an interview with our own Bravesby Reese. Roll the clip. Hello, Braves, and welcome back to another segment of Student Spotlight. Today we are joined by Reese Tuttle. And Reese, why are you here today? That is a really good question. Why am I here today? Well, uh, you were recommended to us because apparently you've been working on getting your first college degree, is that correct? Yeah, so um, that is true. I just finished uh, the final classes to get my associate's degree in computer science. So how did you go about doing all of this? College Credit Plus CCP. I found out about it through the school and I started doing it in eighth grade and since then I've done more than 30 classes. And apparently you've also done some paid internships, is that correct? Yeah, so um, freshman year I started the Indian Hill Computer Club and we got really involved in like hackathons. So UC ended up reaching out to us and invited the club to participate in the UC Early IT Summer Camp. That then led into Kroger coming to us and asking me if I wanted to do a paid internship and so I did that. That's cool. We've also been told that you've done more than one paid internship, right? Yeah, so um, at the end of that summer when I did my paid internship, my club also got involved with an organization called Interlines of Greater Cincinnati. Their main goal is to get younger people or students involved into tech. So I have been their web developer for a couple years now, and I ended up getting an internship through them as the web developer. And so what are your plans after high school? Where do you go from here? Um, that is honestly a really good question. I don't really know what I'm doing after high school. I have three years of work experience, my college degree, and I've also been working on industry recognized credentials, which is like certifications and stuff. So after high school, I'm looking at doing master's programs and kind of just, you know, free spirit, doing what I want to do. I'm not, not super sure, but I do still have a dream college, so. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, super fun. So that's pretty much it. That's all we have for this week's Student Spotlight. Thank you for joining us, Braves. Back to you at the news desk. Wow, this is such great news. Congratulations, Reese. College Credit plus Information Night is Wednesday, January 19th. Check your email or Canvas for registration. Additionally, the Inter-Alliance Computer Club Internship Open House is January 20th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The link is in the description or email Reese Tuttle for more information. Indian Hill High School is forming an eSports club to compete in the Ohio eSports League this spring. Our first year will have Rocket League and Valorant. 
Rocket League will compete Wednesdays and Valorant will compete on Thursdays. If you're interested, sign up for tryouts by filling out the form on your Canvas Home dashboard. Our Winter Homecoming is on the 22nd from 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. next Saturday here at Indian Hill High School. The theme is Winter Wonderland, so dress warm. Recent Indian Hill graduates sat center stage inside the auditorium on January 6th as a part of the Special Alumni Engineering Panel. The new Indian Hill High School Society of Women in Engineering teamed up with the Indian Hill Foundation to bring the Braves back to campus. The graduates shared information about selecting their major, choosing their college, classes at Indian Hill that were the most helpful, and how they juggled their academic and social life, along with co-op co and intern opportunities and the college life in general. The administration has made the decision to implement a short-term mask mandate for all students, staff, and visitors from Wednesday, January 12th throughout Friday, January 21st. Stay safe, Braves. Spirit Week is next week. What a surprise. Are we still... What? Go, Hayden. They reset the... Spirit Week is next week. What a surprise. I'm super hyped. Tuesday starts us off with Frat Day. Shout out to my guys at SAE. Mm, and Wednesday sets us up for a grout fit. That means wear gray from your head to your toes. Thursday is exciting with Throwback Thursday. I'll be digging through my dad's bell bottoms for that one. Mm, and Friday ends us off with snow gear, which is probably going to be needed. Well, I think that's all we got for this semester. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And, and remember, remember, stay classy, classy Mary Mont. Mont. No, it's Mary Indian, Mont. It's Indian Hill. Wait. It's Indian Hill. Great. Yeah. And oh. remember, stay, stay classy, classy Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Hello, and welcome to the Fake News Network, the show where we have no idea what we're about to say and we're not allowed to smile or laugh. I'm better than you. And I'm Jerry Candy. I live in a house made of sugar. Yum. Our stories tonight, five saucy questions to ask on your first date and make them fear you forever. Also, we will cover why you have a belly button and why you should stop shoving your little fingers in there. Stop telling me what to do, Jerry. I can do whatever I want. Well, let's send it over to a little Lebowski for some breaking news. Thanks, Jared Bear. It's official. Taco Bell has single-handedly ruined my weekend. Oh my, oh my. Oh my, indeed. The popular chain has tricked me once again, and I am now only waking up from a Baja Blast-infused bender. My memories are only faded Polaroids of refined bean Dorito nacho shells and spicy cheese Gorita something. And who could forget some classy Queso tortillas. I don't know what that is. I am shocked you don't know. I'll eat queso tortillas, guacamole, salsa. Papa, give me more. Yum, yum. That's me every night, baby. Can't stay mad with a cute face like that. What a cutie patootie, tall and fruity, lean and mean Italian machine. A little bird told me our naughty Susan Wolitsky has some saucy one-liners to really kill all those butterflies in your belly, huh? Susan? Thanks, Better. I'm reporting here on the scene at Applebee's. My mother gave birth. <laughs> it is also as <laughs> many high schoolers have their first date. I am an example of that going well, but not all first dates do. And here are some questions to help you get the past dread get past the dreaded talking stage. Can you move your hair a little bit? Why are you being so mean to me? How was your day? Never mind, I don't care, lol. Would you rather never see the sun again or give me a smooch? Do you, do you think you are capable of taking a human life? Oh my, oh my god, why would you say any of those things? Are you a monster? They're just trying to threaten the zoo, honey zoo, poo. Like, what else are you supposed to do in an Applebee's? Well, that's our news for tonight, folks. Let's see who laughed that's, the most. That's right. We're closing off this episode with tonight's big loser, Abraham Hayes, blonde, natural blonde next to me. You are a loser. <laughs> you okay. lost by a lot. You suck. Abe, you laugh too much. That's are you are you